Similar to So Young, there's another mukbanger who stirs controversy, and perhaps even more than So Young does, and she eats animals alive on camera. What could be much worse than that? Well, apparently what's worse is eating animals on camera who aren't eating animals. This mukbanger does what any other mukbanger does, who isn't vegan or plant-based, and eats the bodies of animals on camera. But she ends up with a dislike ratio that would make any sensitive creator wince. But I'm gonna be a fun sponge and point out a hypocrisy, um, you know, something that I partook in once upon a time, and something that most people still do to this day. And some unknowingly, a few knowingly, yes, to see a cat who's been killed and cooked to be someone's meal is disturbing to me, incredibly. I have a personal connection to cats, they're intelligent, they're silly, they're all different with their own personalities and interests. It is culturally shocking for me to see them be subjected to this. But above all else, it's disturbing to see because they were a sentient being with their own desires, interests, you know, their own mind and to know that they you know, spent their last moments, probably in a lot of fear, uh, is horrifying. And as well as that, you know, wondering about what the methods were like for them beforehand, you know, the, the farming practices, if they're being mass farmed, then, you know, it might not have been a case of the moments leading up to their death were horrible, you know, it could have been a much longer journey, it could have been their entire lives. There are other people who find this shocking or morally abhorrent. But why? For a fact, these same people are most likely consuming animals of a different species, who too were individuals with interests and desires of their own, who were very intelligent, who if they'd known them on a personal level, may have found them to be quite silly and quirky in their own ways. So are people then valuing animals for what they can provide for them, rather than the animal themselves? Is, is that what's happening? Because people put a lot of value on companion animals or pets, you know, can't eat a parrot, but you can eat a chicken or a turkey. You can't eat a dog, but you can eat a cow. You can't eat a cat, but you can eat a pig. You know, the, the, there's these standards that they put on different species and I'm wondering if when people say, I love animals, if they really love them in the way I'm thinking of love. I have done a video about this previously, but when I think of someone loving me, for example, I think of them loving me for who I am. Yes, you know, what I can do for them may be a little part of it, but loving me absent of their influence. People seem to love certain animals in this way. They love what they do to them. They love that they make them feel safe, or that they make them happy, or fulfill a certain aesthetic. This obviously doesn't apply to everyone, and so I'm hoping that I don't end up with people in the comments saying, no, well I actually love, you know, animals, I really do, like, no matter what, because if it doesn't apply to you, then it doesn't apply to you. If you genuinely think that you actually love, you know, an animal in your life, you know, be them human or non-human, you, you think you actually do, you know, independent of them, you, you would love them, you know, no matter what they can do for you or do with you, then yeah, this doesn't apply to you simply. And I think sadly that we do need to self-reflect on the love we have for others. And I think we'd find more often than not that we do love others more for what they can do for us than, you know, absent of us. You know, it would quickly dwindle, our love for people or for animals would quickly dwindle in some cases if they weren't doing what we wanted them to do. If they somehow inconvenienced us or contradicted, you know, our interests in some way, I think more often than we would like to admit, we'd find that quickly that that love that we feel becomes quite almost like indifference or goes the opposite way even. And I think simply that this needs to change. No matter your relationship to a fellow sentient being, they are an individual with their own desires, interests and needs. And whether you're there or not, those will remain. We permit stripping their lives from them, partially because we don't care enough about their interests. Maybe though, if we had a pet pig called a dotty and liked her so much, she wouldn't be an eating animal anymore, but her sisters and cousins would. 
She's special though. Because of what? Because of how she made you feel? It's like how people argue that we don't eat animals who are cute, which is simply untrue because they clearly haven't seen lambs or pigs or goats. But isn't that slightly disturbing? That people will argue certain species get a free pass simply because of how they feel when they look at them. Never mind the personal experience of these animals or the suffering they've had to endure. Never mind that animal's individual interests. You know, how much they would suffer, how much their life personally means to them, you know. Uh, if they don't fit our arbitrary requirement of who is cute, then they are destined for a bolt gun between the eyes. The truth is you won't stop people like VIASMR from eating cats and dogs if you yourself eat pigs, chickens, lamb. You won't be able to do so. You won't stop people eating animals if you too eat animals. If you however set the precedent that these animals should be valued independent of what you personally think of them, then you may aid the gradual change in attitude towards an individual and their own autonomy. I'd argue this aids improving the respect and decency granted to human beings. I think even in the human context, we struggle with, you know, valuing others if they you know, they're not directly related to us. Think of it, you know, how people care less about children if they are from a certain country, they're in a different country, or they care less about, you know, someone who's not in their particular group, you know, because it doesn't really affect them. It doesn't reflect upon their own experience and existence and interests. I understand fully that we have our little group to a degree you know we have you know our partner our family you know certain connections that are very special irreplaceable and then we have a bias towards those individuals but there is a huge difference between that and then valuing a life so little that we are indifferent to or even complicit in their entire existence being taken from them all for sometimes something as benign as a sandwich filler like how has it got to that point vi asmr won't stop eating cats she won't stop eating lobsters chickens all of these animals and i bet so many people hurling criticism at her also eat animals and what's the difference is it intelligence because pigs are smarter than dogs is it cuteness? Because these animals are cute and that says a lot about you that isn't great, in my opinion. Is it culture? Because pick a culture. You can almost guarantee that they've stopped doing something that used to be in their culture to do because it was considered so morally abhorrent that it was then abolished. Should we bring those things back because they were part of a culture, part of a tradition? That thing in itself shouldn't be, you know, something that is over an individual's existence. I don't think at all. I think that's pretty messed up. But I want to make this video to point out some co contradictions. You know, the like to dislike ratio on her videos demonstrates that people live in a world where they think it's wrong that animals are killed and they find it disturbing. But reality doesn't really portray that at all because these very people are very much likely consuming animals themselves. Um, they are, you know, probably a lot of them are probably very anti-vegan, anti the concept of stopping animal exploitation. So, you know, I find that to be very hypocritical. And I don't think that, you know, if you want to see this change, if you don't want to see these animals being subjected to this, then you must first take the step yourself. You must you know, encourage and drive that change within people. Because if fundamentally people have it within them to start making excuses as to why we should take the lives away from sentient beings, then if you're going to do that yourself, then what's stopping them from doing it? But if you set the precedent and those around you set the precedent that we shouldn't be doing this to animals, then we get that much closer to a world where the majority do not do that, do not think that's right. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope something has come from this. Uh, I just saw a VIASMR's video come up because I've been doing videos on So Young. I saw the dislike ratio and it, it baffled me. I mean, I knew that would be the case because obviously uh, people would react that way. But I just think it's a bit hypocritical to just point that out but not see, you know, how your own actions are causing that suffering as well. Please share this out. Hopefully someone can see it. Hopefully someone can realise that they are participating in something that they don't even agree with. 
Um, and if anyone has any contentions with this, I do have a Discord if you'd like to debate me on it. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching. I've been the Flemface providing you with that vegan content. I hope you don't feel deficient within yourself. And until next time, I will see you soon.